welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I filmed. A lot has happened um, in the last couple months and I'm finally in my new video room. I wish you could see around me is like pure chaos because um, I haven't really found where to put things yet but I'm super grateful to have this space and I'm gonna make new videos for you guys um, starting hopefully soon. I can get see how things go. I'm trying to be more independent with my filming because my husband was helping me a lot with filming um, and now I just kind of want to learn everything for myself. Um, so bear with me as we kind of go through that process. But um, anyway, I did this really simple look. I uh, posted a makeup look very similar to this on my Instagram a couple of days ago and people seem to really like it. Um, so it's really easy to do and I thought it would be fun if I showed you how to do it. This is supposed to be a chit chat video, but um, it was kind of hard for me to talk and film and like think of what I was doing all at the same time. So I might be a little quiet, um, but hopefully you guys kind of get the gist of it. And if you have any questions or any concerns or comments, just leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to start making more videos for you guys soon. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do um, for this makeup look is to put some moisturizer on my face. Um, this is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm and I got this from Sephora. And this is super hydrating so it's and it's very cooling too so I really like it. So I have really dry skin and I love putting on moisturizer especially when it's really cold out really helps my skin stay hydrated all day long I like to let that sit on my face for a little while it really absorbs and having a good moisturizer really helps your foundation kind of adhere to your skin so I would try and find one that works really well for you. Prime my lids and um, since I'm doing drugstore mainly today, I have this Maybelline uh, Master Prime that I picked up um, a while ago. I haven't used it in a long time, so I'm gonna use this to prime my eyes. And if I'm looking off screen, it's because I'm using my mirror. And then this is the Morphe G34 brush. I just got this in my Morphe Me subscription. So I'm going to use that to rub that in. Like that. And next I'm going to grab eyeshadow. Um, we're going to use a Morphe palette. Okay, so here's the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use for today's makeup tutorial. This is the Morphe 35 OM, which is a matte, and this is literally an eye look I do every day, and it's so easy. So what I like to do is take one of the fleshy colors. Um, I think I'm going to dip into this one. This is such an easy makeup look, so this is the color I'm dipping into. And this is a Morphe M441 brush. And all I do with this is just pop it in the crease and just build it up. So I basically use this to set my primer and then cancel out any color that might be on my lid. Like, cause my lids are darker than the rest of my skin. Kind of have like reverse dark circles almost. So this is a very nice neutral brown. Um, it really complements my skin tone. So I just windshield wiper motions. Like so, super easy. And yeah, so you just make sure they're even. Um, obviously I'm gonna put foundation on and everything so it's gonna bring the whole thing together. But this is honestly like my version of a five minute makeup look is just taking one eyeshadow and coating my lids. Um, then we're going to do a little bit of wing liner to really make it look like you put some work in. And then um, I'll kind of show you as I go along. So uh, for wing liner, I'm going to use the Voluminous Superstar Liquid Eyeliner from L'Oreal. This is what it looks like. This is my favorite liquid liner from the drugstore. 
Um, I've tried so many and honestly, I don't think anything else works as good as this one does. So I'm just going to wing this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I attempted to do my wing liner um, on camera, but that was not working out. So I just quickly did my wings off of camera and now we can move on to foundation because I am not going to use a face primer because I just use my moisturizer and so that'll be just fine and then for foundation I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Desert Beige. This is what it looks like and I really like this uh, foundation so far. I've only been wearing it a couple of days and it comes with like this little spatula so we can just dot it all over our face which is nice I mean for a drugstore you know I've been really caking this foundation on the last couple of times I wore it I'm gonna try and go a little bit more natural um, I'm trying to think of what this foundation feels like for me it's definitely very it feels like it's gonna move on my face it's very uh, what's the word like emollient or feels like really oily um, so if you have oily skin I think you're gonna hate this foundation I really can't imagine someone with oily skin liking this um, just because of how it feels really like oily oh, do you guys like the beauty blender or do you like brush people because like I go in phases like sometimes I love using my beauty blender and then sometimes I love a brush. This is a the Real Techniques like contour brush, sculptor brush, and I don't know why I think I ran out of clean foundation brushes, and I've always wanted to try this for foundation, so I did. So I mean, this gives really quite full coverage, I would say. And it's like under six dollars, which blows my mind. But like I said, I don't think it's gonna work on oily skin because it is very oily feeling. Okay. And then I also grabbed this Wet n Wild um, concealer. The photo focus concealer in the shade medium tawny again under five dollars so i'm gonna place this right here underneath my eyes this is a very thick concealer put some on the bridge of our noses up here down here and then down here and then I'm going to blend it out with my M335 brush from Morphe. If you guys are looking for new brushes, honestly Morphe is the way to go. They're not expensive and they're good quality and you can most of the time use like a coupon code of somebody's like i always use jacqueline hill's coupon code whenever i'm ordering my morphe brushes hers is jack attack and you get 10 percent off so <sighs> i don't know why concealer is just not my favorite step in like my foundation routine and in case you guys are wondering what mirror I'm using, because I did want to mention, I like invested in a simple human mirror and I really like it. I got mine at Bath and, Bed Bath and Beyond. In case anyone's interested, it's like a motion activated light, which is really nice. And to set stuff, I've been trying out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder in the shade Golden Tan. This is what it looks like. It feels like a really nice powder. I mean, I don't always use powder on my face, but, and it was cheap. 
the compact doesn't feel very well built like this feels like it's gonna break off any second um, but it feels like a, a powder decent powders okay so this is my kabuki brush and basically I just swirl it and then just buff it into my skin like that So I think my foundation looks pretty good. Next thing I have to do is the brows. So I'm just gonna use what I always use, which is this little thing I got from BoxyCharm, probably like a year ago or two ago. This is what it looks like. It's from a brand called Bodyography. And this is the Essentials Brow Trio. And this thing, I have used it to death. And so I just go between the two darker shades and just, I have pretty good brows, like they're very thick, so I just follow my natural brows. It's really hard to talk and do your makeup. I'm just realizing this. <laughs> so I see I basically just film in. I don't really draw anything on and then I like to use a brow gel. So I've been trying this out. This is the Brow Precise um, Fiber Volumizer from Maybelline. So this is a drugstore as well. Um, the applicator is super weird. It's like a little paddle with some bristles and the other side's flat. So you can kind of see the fibers. I don't know. I can. So then I just brush this through and they keep my brows in place. Um, I don't really need the fiber per se, but it's nice to keep them, you know, tamed and in place. So I like that. Um, and then I should probably put a little bit of, um, it's gonna highlight my brow bone but let's just wait on that let's pop some eyeliner on i like to do eyeliner after i do my concealer um because that's just my preference so i like to pull my lash line down with a, my concealer brush and then just i'm just defining it i'm not trying to I'm not like trying to give myself like a black eye or anything today. Sometimes I can get a little heavy on the highlighter. It's a little dramatic, but this is just, just a little bit of definition is all I gave myself. Morphe palette again. And just using like a vanilla E shade. I just like to, I can't use the viewfinder I need to wear. So I just like to pop it on right here and then just blend it out. Just blend. Might have taken on, a, taken on a little too much here, but that's okay, we can just blend it out. And then I'll just grab my eyeshadow brush and then just blend, just so it looks more seamless. You know, some people, they have like the, I hate like the overly shiny brow highlights. They freak me out. Okay, so my go-to bronzer these days has been the Modico bronzer, and this is in the shade Shimmer Bronzing Powder. This stuff is amazing. Look at, I'm like so excited. So with bronzer, I like to use my Morphe M403 brush, and then I just, I kind of contour and bronze at the same time. It's something I've been into recently. I don't really contour as much. And then of course you wanna get your jawline. Let me just make sure. I like to blend it out. Um, this has a little bit of sheen on it and you can still see it, obviously. 
like I like to almost like bronze blush contour all in one go and um, this bronze is pretty inexpensive it's in like the $20 range so not as expensive as like a NARS okay so after we bronze I have a new blush I want to try this I picked up yesterday from Flower Beauty this is a powder blush in warm hibiscus and I'm pretty sure this is like a dupe to a NARS orgasm type it's has like a peachy sheen. So I'm just gonna, I don't know how pigmented this is, so I'm just gonna dip in and then just sweep it along my cheeks. It has like a shimmer to it. I'm sure you can see it. See that when I turn? So that's beautiful. And this was like under $10. And then just because I'm extra, we're gonna hit it with some Boozy Brunch by Wet n Wild. I just picked this up and Kathleen Lights raves about this and I can see why because it's really good and it's like under five dollars and you get a ton of products so we're just gonna sweep that on down the bridge of the nose, keep it all. I need some more. I need some more girl. Please sir, I want some more. So here we go, hit it some more. Okay, so that's my highlight. And then I'm gonna set all of this before I do my mascara. And I'm gonna try, and this is a new setting spray for me. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Another thing that Kathleen Lights made me buy, because she loves it. And we're going to spray our faces. Honestly, setting spray is probably one of my essentials in makeup because it stops things from getting cakey. And I just can't imagine that I lived without setting spray. That's kind of crazy to think about. Okay, so final steps. Get yourself an eyelash curler, girl. If you don't have one, they make a difference. Okay, we're curling those lashes. I'm gonna grab some Rollerball by Benefit. Roller lash, not Rollerball, what was I thinking? This mascara is overhyped. 100% overhyped. I don't know why I fall for the hype every time. Cause you don't need expensive mascara. You can literally buy drugstore mascaras that are amazing for way less than something like this. These are like $20 mascaras. Why? Why did I buy a $20 mascara? So dumb. Like Jeffree Star raves about this mascara, but, and I mean, I'm sure if you're a millionaire, it seems like a good idea to spend $20 on a mascara, but when you're balling on a budget like I am, like I have better things to spend my money on than a $20 mascara. That was not, I've been trying that out for a while and it's just not very good. And the other one I fell for with the hype was the Gigabag. Which again, I don't think is that exciting. I mean, sure, it gets your bottom lashes and I think it's supposed to be waterproof, but I ain't crying. So my favorite thing that I found recently at the drugstore is the Wet n Wild Catsuit um, Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Give Me Mocha, which... To me, that I thought it would be a brown, but it's actually a really pretty, like reddish mauvey shade, and it's really opaque. And this is what the shade looks like, and I love this color. It's like an everyday color for me, and I can wear this all day and this color is beautiful it will dry completely opaque soon here I know it's like five bucks at the drugstore which is crazy so I'm gonna go do my hair and then I'll be back and I'll show you the finished look okay guys so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial like I said this is such an easy look and all these things you can find in the drugstore or I can even link like alternates because I know I did use like the roller lash mascara which you can easily dupe at the 
at the drugstore. You don't need to buy a $20 mascara. So anyway, it's an easy look and if you decide to recreate it, please tag me in it. And thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I will try and make you a new one really soon. If you guys have any requests, please go ahead and leave them down below. And thanks again for watching. Bye!